Now let us discuss about the muscles of mastication very briefly. It has masseter, temporalis, medial pterygoid, lateral pterygoid. Masseter muscle, uh, we shall discuss this under four headings origin, insertion, nerve supply and action. So origin is, it is having superficial, deep and middle fibers. This all the fibers they arise from the zygomatic arch only. But a little slight difference is there like zygomatic arch in the anterior two third of the zygomatic arch plus zygomatic process of maxilla. Whereas the deep fibers arise from zygomatic arch, middle fibers arise from zygomatic arch only but posterior one third. Insertion is ramus of the mandible, lateral surface of ramus of the mandible. Nerve supply is masteric nerve by the same name masteric nerve. Uh, action is it elevation of the TM joint or the mandible and protrusion, elevation and protrusion of the mandible. Temporalis, temporalis origin is the temporal fossa and the temporal fascia like this way, fan shape of temporal fossa and temporal fascia and they converge together and insertion is into coronoid process and the anterior border of ramus of the mandible. So you know that the ramus uh, of the mandible has um, the mandible has the body ramus and uh, coronoid process and condylar process. So to this they come and insert coronoid process and also to the anterior border of ramus of the mandible. Now supply is temporal branch by the same name. Action is elevation, retraction and side to side movements. Lateral pterygoid it has an origin. Origin is the it has two heads upper head and lower head. So upper head takes origin from infratemporal surface of uh, surface plus means and crest of the greater wing of the spinoid. So both the two parts are the spinoid only, infratemporal surface and crest of greater wing of the spinoid. The lower head arises from the lateral surface of lateral pterygoid plate, the lateral pterygoid plate, lateral surface because it is lateral pterygoid muscle. So it arises from lateral surface. Insertion is into the pterygoid fovea, pterygoid fovea on the neck of the mandible. So it has a condylar process as we have discussed. Below the con uh, condylar process has head and neck. So at the neck there is a fovea, pterygoid fovea. Uh, so it inserts into the pterygoid fovea and also into the articular disc and capsule of TM joint. Now supply is now to lateral pterygoid. Uh, actions are depression. This is only depressor actually. Depression of the uh, TM joint or mandible you can say and protrusion. And right side muscle turns the chin to left side, opposite side. If it is contracting, it turns the chin to left side. Now, medial pterygoid. It has an origin. It has two heads, uh, superficial head and deep head. Superficial head arises from tuberosity of the maxilla. Deep head arises from the medial surface of lateral pterygoid plate. You can see here, lateral surface is medial. Because it is a medial pterygoid, it arises from medial surface of the same plate. Here also lateral pterygoid plate. Here also lateral pterygoid plate, but this is a medial surface. And insertion is into medial surface of ramus of the mandible. When we discussed about the masseter, we discussed as lateral surface of ramus of the mandible. Here medial surface of ramus of the mandible. Nerve supply is now to medial pterygoid. Action is elevation and protrusion. Right side, just like this muscle, right side muscle turns the chin to left side. So these are all the... Uh, muscles of mastication.